Hey warriors. So back in April, when I went to the tick-borne disease conference, I had posted some information about Dr. Zhang. Um, Dr. Zhang is a researcher at John Hopkins and he had made, um, in his talk, he was talking about the trifecta of antibiotics and that using just one wasn't effective. And then he also talked about the efficacy and um, results of essential oils in treating Lyme. And an article just came out and let me give you a quick background first on how Dr. Zhang's research has progressed. So in 2014, he and his lab screened FDA approved drugs against persister bacteria of Lyme. And I'm sorry, I keep looking down, but I have my notes right in front of me. Um, then in 2015, they reported that a trifecta of big pharma drugs, um, as it was the combination of doxy, daptomycin, and I'm gonna screw this up, um, cepho, Cephoperazone, perazone, cephoperazone. We're gonna go with that. Um, they reliably killed the bacteria in a lab dish. So in 2017, they were, and so after this, they started testing essential oils. So in 2017, Dr. Zhang and his team found that oregano, citronella, clove buds, cinnamon bark, wintergreen, killed stationary phase Lyme bacteria more potently than the daptomycin. So then that brings us to current, current publishing. So what he has, has published now is that out of the 35 that he tested, he's now down to 10. C garlic, clove, myrtries, thyme, cinnamon bark, allspice, berries, and cumin. Um, that's six, and then the other four, showed strong activity against dormant and slow-growing persister forms of Lyme. So this is important because Borrelia does have multiple stages of development. It does have um, the slow growing. It does have the persister form. So we all know. We all know the difference. And so it's a matter of attacking the the spirochete in the multiple phases of development and basically here we have he's a phd and an md and what is what department is he in molecular biology and immunology okay he's a very sweet man brilliant and he is now stating essential oils are as and more effective on specific forms of development of the spirochete. And this is his quote. We found that these essential oils were even better at killing persister forms than standard Lyme antibiotics. Let me say this again for you guys. We found that these essential oils were even better at killing persister forms than standard Lyme antibiotics. Ah! From John Hopkins University. So his next, his next deal is to start testing this on animal um, subjects, mice, and eventually moving to humans. And he was, you know, I mean, as a researcher, he's like, you know, we just, we need to see if, what the doses are that would be safe. You know, we need to make sure that we have um, clinical trials before we roll this out. So to all of those, you know, women that believe in essential oils or people, that I shouldn't say just women, don't mock your living young, doTERRA, whoever person that is tells you that the essential oils can help cure, clear up, whatever it is. They've done their homework, and so has Dr. Zhang of John Hopkins University. 
there is a place for alternative medicine. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to come back around and what is considered alternative at some point and hopefully in my life will not be considered alternative. It will be the standard of care. Um, so for all of you that are doing essential oils as your treatment protocol, send out that link below to everyone who's been on you, mocks you, argues with you. Um, and for those of you that didn't believe or had concern or question or just were like, eh, I suggest you read the article as well. Um, I look forward to his continued work and to hearing him speak at different conferences and his involvement. Um, I know he's largely involved with the Live Lime Foundation and um, a few others. And he is, he's a remarkable human being. So thank you to Dr. Zhang for his tireless work in this field. And um, I hope you guys read the article and can pass it along to um, your doubters. So from Alternative Lime Life to you guys, please two more steps, always love and light, sun on your face, dirt under your shoes, and um, I'll be chatting with you guys soon. Mwah.